So, um, so this thumb drive on right here, if you guys haven't checked the community page, this thumb drive has the, all the body cam video on it that shows uh, Shineman and that he is 100% guilty of conspiracy to commit murder. And so what I'm doing here at the Attorney General's office in Columbus, Ohio, is I'm here to turn this thumb drive into the State Attorney General, into BCI. This is also where BCI is located. So I'm, I'm dropping this off. I just want this to be a matter of record that the same video that I produced yesterday that I showed on the Delete Laws YouTube page, this is the thumb drive that has the, the relevant, we want the dash cam. Have you guys seen the community page? BK sent me a screenshot. We think, and I think, I agree with BK, good investigation, BK. I believe that the dash cam is the water bottle because that's not a, that's not a very legitimate looking water, that's not a very legitimate looking um, um, dash cam. I think that the dash cam is the water bottle. I put a picture of that on uh, delete laws. Hey, how are you? I'm here to see uh, John Corbin of BCI. Oh, okay. Uh, is, is he in? Oh, I'm not going to show you my ID. I'll tell you my name. My name is Jose De Castro. I have a I, I have a channel called Delete Laws. I'm an investigative journalist. I have no problem identifying myself. Okay, no problem. Just, it's, it's my right though, not just. It's J O S E, and and my last name is De Castro, D E Castro, like Fidel, but we're not related. D E Castro. C-A-S-T-O-R. T-R-O. Tro, bro. Castro. It is De Castro. Uh, what the fuck? I mean, uh, come on, brother. Come on. I, 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 How's your day going so far with that? Man, I've been working on this for, I've been, I, I mean, you guys know, I mean, people watch my channel. I, I have been working on this for six days straight, this one thing. Uh, uh, okay. and, and like the whole time I'll... Oh yeah, they murdered him, dude. This, this is the murder. This is the murder disc right here, and so I'm gonna turn this into uh, BCI. Yeah, I'm nonviolent, dude. I, I, I'm for America, man. I'm not. I'm not for. I'm not for violence. I think violence is stupid. You know. I mean, don't get me wrong. In the cage. Yeah. You know, if you do it fair. Yeah. So if you can just go. So uh, we just been informed that Corbin is not here today. Well, what about the other he's woman? In, he's in Bowling Green. Oh, there was a woman that came down also. I think they were expecting you to come yesterday. I thought, yeah, right? but this wouldn't, I couldn't get this done in time. Yeah. There's so much data on here. Yeah. I mean, there's so much data. I'm, so you guys are paying attention. God bless you, brother. Thank no you, man. Problem, man. Thank you, dude. For. Man, I just want transparency. I just want justice. Right. I, I'm, I'm totally, I love our country. I just yeah. want to fix it. <laughs> so yeah, Corbin's not here today. Yeah, he's not here. Is today. anybody else there? that? Because someone can take this from me. Because I can, I can take it. Make sure he gets it. Well, let me, let me, let me, can I have one of your stickers? Let me label this properly. Okay. Just because I didn't have it in my hotel room where I was. I'm afraid to put that there. Thanks a lot. Yeah, let me just get this labeled properly. This is going to be, I would rather give it to someone at BCI. You made a copy of that, right? Of course, I have a copy of it, but I'd rather, I would rather give it to someone who works at BCI. Well, I'm not, unfortunately, the guy that's There's nobody? Them. No. There's nobody. He's the one handling that, as far as I know. Well, okay. there was a woman down here too who said the BCI doesn't cover. She's my a, boss. She's your boss. Yeah. Also, oh, she's security. Yes. So she doesn't work for BCI. No. Well, then why would she say BCI doesn't cover up murders? She has experience with that. Oh, she has experience with she, BCI. She's former law enforcement, I believe. She's former law enforcement. Yeah. Sad. Sad. They're, they're going to go down as Nazis in the history of our time. It, what, for what they did to, to black people specifically throughout the history law enforcement was created and the brand of violence we see from law enforcement is based on that it was okay just to destroy a black man in the street as long as you were a cop so you're gonna give that to yeah me? yeah i mean i guess i can i i want to give it to, i want to give it to the bci agency can i do that it's definitely going to get to the bci agency okay dude i want I, i'll do anything man i'll i'll turn off my camera i'll do whatever it takes it's gonna get some we I just I don't like cops, so yeah. I know if you were a former cop, yeah, and not, you know, not, 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 I can't we were stand them. Yesterday, I didn't uh, get this done yeah. in time. I, I, dude, I've been working on this for fuck, 20 hours. 
20 hours. I thought I could have it done. God bless. You, you know what? You, you got me. You're right. You're right. You're correct. I'm wrong. You guys are correct. So this is going to be the Sheena Men. Evidence. What we really want is that body, the, the dash cam footage. And then I have to go. Do you have any scissors back there by any chance? Yeah, no, it's, it's a sticky so you know, you But I gotta tear it. it. Yeah. We want that. We want that body. You wanna, if you wanna put your information in case you need a call back or something. Oh man, there. I get followed around. Yeah. There's people following me. Just I look in my review mirror. I gotta ditch people all the time. I understand. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. A non-violent journalist, and I get followed by people. They it's tracked the me to my Airbnb days. last week, and they sent my Airbnb host a message that's saying I was a. Oh. I was a anti-government, anti-cop propaganda spreader, which isn't true. I don't like cops, that's a fact, but, but I'm 100% for America. I messed that up like I messed up the appointment, so. Have you guys noticed that when you turn a camera on, cops and government run, it's absolutely insane. If I turn on my camera, they're out. Like, we're leaving right now. It's like, why? why are you leaving right now? It's a camera. Yeah, but you gotta understand, some people don't like being on camera. And they you're don't on, have to be specifically law enforcement. It could be anybody. You can't just go out here. You're on camera grab, right now. No, I understand. I'm on that, camera 15 different angles. But, I was on camera you, walking in. If you, was, if you was out here recording these people out in the street that's sitting in the bus stop, you think you're going to get the same reaction as people in here? They're being recorded at the bus but, stop already. I understand. But are you gonna <laughs> just if you same? hold the camera, then it's bad. I know you will not get the same reaction that you might get in here because then people might take it offensive and say, yo, get that camera out of my face. But they're getting but recorded when they walk that. on the bus. They're getting recorded in the bus stop. Yeah, they're getting recorded when they get off the bus. You, you can't record as much as you want here. As much as you want. I know. God bless you, sir. I, I appreciate that, man. I'm just trying to help you get done what you need to get done. Dude, I want, I want Shinneman arrested for murder. I he murdered that guy, dude. I mean, I hope you, you know. You it, to take it out yeah, God bless. I appreciate that. No problem, Jose. Is there anything else we can help you with today? No, I just want to, can I get, can I, is it okay if I get just a shot of your badge, just so I know who I gave that to, just, just, just for the people, because everybody's going to ask what happened to the, to the thumb drive. Right. You All know, right. I'm not trying to in any way embarrass, dude, it's my pleasure to meet you. My name's Chili. Have a good day. It's my pleasure. You know, I hope you have a good oh, day now, okay? Okay, that's on there. Let me just, yes. let me get a shot of that bad chicken too. Okay, so that's the Shinneman murder video. This is the Shinneman murder evidence right here. Okay. Sheenaman. Thanks, dude. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Appreciate bro, it. Take the, Appreciate the, the sticker. Oh, you want the sticker? Yeah. You're taking my sticker, bro? Huh? Dude, this is this is this is my official Columbus Dave Yost. Yes, sir. <laughs> right, There's man, this. Jose, have a good one. Okay. okay enjoy Thanks, your weekend. You Watch my channel, Delete right. Laws. You'll you. you'll you'll see, dude. You'll see. You. It's murder. Right. Murder. Right, okay. Have a good one now, bro. Okay, thank you, bro. Appreciate you. How you doing? Thank you. Appreciate you. They all knew who I was before I came in. Security guards who I hadn't talked to. Security guards who I hadn't seen before knew exactly who I was. Would you take a look at this? Would you take a look at this? Take a look at this. A pedestal. <laughs> I am here in Columbus, Ohio, and I am here to say that the people are ready for change. The people are ready for a transparent government that we all get to see what these people called peace officers, because that's what they sign up to be, that peace officers have to have a 360 camera on them at all times, that their headsets go to two different agencies, one called the Montesquieu and one called Transparency. And then you get a copy of any video if you were to be arrested. Let me get off my soapbox. <laughs> they're, they're all watching me. They, they, they're, they all came to the door and they're all watching me. Don't ask for change in America. Don't you dare ask for change in our country. If you ask for change, they're gonna know who you are before that you come in the door. That guy knew who I was, I never saw him. He was never in the room yesterday, two days ago.
And then uh, this is to, uh, to John Corbin. Dude, I'm sorry, I tried to get that video done. I couldn't get it done till, till late last night. And then this morning, just so you know, I had to alter the video. Because there was things in there that I didn't project properly and I wanted to project them properly. So this is downtown Columbus. This is downtown Columbus, uh, Ohio. I mean, this is where the money is going, guys. This is this is this is where the 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 mon this is the the epicenter of 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 capitalism. Oh man. Oh man. Are you familiar with the 2020 federal badge ID rule? Are you a federal officer? No, I'm not. Okay. I saw you two days ago, though. You you were behind me a couple days ago. I work in that building. Oh, you work in the building. So you, you don't have a federal badge ID number? Where's the best coffee shop around here? Where do you go? You go to Starbucks, you go to Coffee Bean. What's your favorite coffee shop? I, I saw the other day you were drinking a coffee and you're drinking a coffee again today. What's your, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite coffee shop? Where do you like to have coffee at? Anywhere. Anywhere, I mean, what's your favorite though? Just cause I want people to know who you are and that you, you, live, you work here. If I, I, I'm a citizen, so I'm, I'm a, where do you go for coffee though? You drink coffee a lot, so where do you get your coffee? Um, I really don't want you walking next to me. I don't know who you are. Oh, my name's Jose De Castro. I have a channel called Delete Laws. I'm an investigative journalist. What I do is corruption. That's what I do for a living. I expose government corruption. And this is a public street, so I'm not harassing you. I'm simply talking to someone who said they work inside of a building that I just was, and you sat behind me the other day. So I just want people to know your face and know who you are. Do you oh, want to tell it. me your name or anything? I don't have to. No, you don't have to, but do you want to? Do you want to identify yourself? No, I don't. I want you to leave me alone. Okay, I'm leaving you alone. I just asked you where you get your coffee, that's all. You're not an undercover cop or an undercover agent? You're not? Because, I mean, I walked out of that building and you sat behind me the other day and now you walked out when I walked out. And I'm big on transparency. I'm not sure if you know about my channel. Did you watch any of the videos? Are you investigating me right now? Are you following me? Because I walked out and then you walked out. Okay. I, he's a real talkative guy. Take a screenshot just so we can see if we can identify this guy because he's definitely following me. Definitely. 100%. Where are you heading? Where are you going? Anywhere? Or just walking out because I walked out? Where are you going? I mean, you look like a tough guy, man. I wouldn't want to tangle with you. I'm just wondering where you went, where you're going. Okay. I'm really glad we had this opportunity. That way later, if you can get me in torture cuffs, you can remember this moment. Where'd you get the coffee? Okay, okay, you have a good day. I guess he's just taking a walk around the block. He's not coming to see where I'm parked or get a, get a picture of my car. He's not following me. He was the same guy that sat down behind me the other day, but that's not him. Let's have a good time, you ready? Let, let's do something right here. If you redress your government, they'll investigate you.
There's our guy right there. Beautiful city. Hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button, hit the thumbs up button. So, I've been being followed for weeks. And so, what I'm showing here is that I'm just gonna pop a squat right here down by this plant. So that would mean if he appears right here, that would mean that he walked down there, took a left, sent a text to somebody, and then he'll be walking back. 
but see his partners who are watching me oh would you take nope that's not him his partners who are watching me you dirty filthy pigs I call for non-violence petition assembly protest this is just like the mar this is just like the fight for civil rights that the blacks did throughout the 50s and the 60s and eventually that would be shut down by the 1968 Terry versus Ohio holding. So if his superiors were smart, who are watching my video right now, welcome to the channel guys, thanks for watching. Um, they sent him another way so that it wouldn't be so obvious that he's actually following me. And I've been being followed for weeks. So I know when someone's following me. Uh, just so you filthy pigs understand, I am acutely aware of my scenes. I'm always sober, always coherent, and I typically always carry my gun. So if you're gonna plan to do anything to me, just make sure you come full force because I'm not a weeping willow. I'm a bad mother And if you even try it, we all go down. You better come right. But what they're gonna do, guys, is they're gonna try to arrest me and put me in a dungeon is what they're gonna do. And then once I'm in the dungeon is well the, where they'll try to, to do whatever they do. I did sprint pretty good around these two blocks. So if he's just walking, it's gonna take him a second to get around the corner. But you guys just saw, he just pulled up and started texting. So I believe he was texting and I'm just down behind this plant right here. I'm just down behind this plant right here. Where you at, Piggy? The Piggy's uh, superiors must have told him that I ran around the corner because they're all watching. How else, why else would they all know who, why else would they, oh, is that, is that where he went? Is that him right there that just honked at me? I think it was, I think it was. Nice move, pigs, nice moves. You were smart to have him go get a car. You guys are watching it, man. It's real. Why would he stop and turn around if he's just gonna go get his car? Who would he be texting? Why would he stop there and go the other way? You forget where you park, bro? You work there, you said. You said you work there. And this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys about transparency, about us having control of the cameras. There's a camera. There's a camera, but you don't get access to that camera. Because if it was public transparency, I would then be able to see where that guy went because I could simply say, I want that camera footage, and then it would be sent to me. Because I want to know if someone's stalking me. I have that right. I don't, I don't have to be stalked by another person. See, the thing is, is that until we get total transparency where government officials including governors legislators judges prosecutors have to wear eye goggles until we get that full transparency we're gonna live under the thumb of government government isn't working for us they're working against us and so we know that and the only way that we get to full transparency is by actually asking those harder questions I know that. 
I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Mr. Mer how, how you doing, sir? Nice to see you again. You know, there was a gentleman in here the other day that when I came in here and I sat down, he sat down right behind me. So I'm big on transparency. If you watch my channel, you'll see that. I, I watched a little bit. Put everything on camera and let the chips fall where they may. No one wants violent thugs and murderers and rapists in our, in our midst. And we certainly don't want that from people who claim to be law enforcement, which is a bullshit term, or should be rights protectors, peace officers. However, the guy who sat behind me the other day here, and I could show you him on video. You can look yeah, at him I later. Yeah, yeah. So he's not who you thought he was. Oh, who is he? he? He's an employee, but he's not a not a police officer. What, what kind of employee is he? Um, can I get his records? Can I FOIA his records? I mean, I can't. I don't. Can have you any tell access. me his name? I mean, I probably shouldn't. Why? He works for the government. But it's not my place. I'm not his. I'm not his supervisor. He's not even in my department. See, when you're when you're a public when you're a, a public employee, a public servant. But and that's still not my place. I can't. I'm not his supervisor. I'm. I'm just who's his supervisor? I'm the security supervisor. That's okay. Who's the supervisor? Um, I'd have to find out who his supervisor is. I'll wait. I'm not really sure. Okay. I'll wait. I'd All like right. to talk to a supervisor because I believe I was just followed, uh -huh. and I'd like to know why they're following me. Okay. Everything's on camera. You're good. I won't I hide know. anything. You were followed by. Who? Oh, he definitely followed me because yeah. I do a lot of sprints, and so I sprinted around him to see where he was going, and he was following me, and then when he realized I was now the cat chasing the mouse, he started texting, he turned around and he left. Went and got in his car and left. I'd like to talk to a supervisor. I wanna know what department he works for. Yeah, I'm not really sure what department. I know he's Why can't not. you share what department he works for? Because I'm not as, I'm not, I'm well, not in a- He's a public employee. How would he know? I mean, we, got, he does so many, know. we got so many people in this building that work in this ma building. Ma'am, he knows right. which department he works for. Please, okay. let's not hide the truth. I'm not hiding any truth. I know, I'm but just let's just tell the whole- people in the building that work for and we don't always know which department each person works for. Be so careful when you put your fingers in your mask because what happens is, is you get the coat, you get the, the bird flu yeah, from, the, from the table and then when you put your fingers inside your mask, it transmits into your mask. And I just don't want you to get it because okay. you know, my mom had a stroke and she almost, yeah. right. she almost, you know, she got, you know. So you just want to be careful when you put your mask on not to put your fingers in it. You want to put your fingers on the outside of it. Yeah, I'd like to know which, which you know which department he works for. I mean, I don't know what he does. What he does but so. you know which department he works for. Which department does he work for? I'm not really sure. You're not really sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me Spike speaking about him is, is overstepping my, my bounds. It's not my, in my Hey, listen, job. You, you served our country as a Marine, I and, and I do appreciate your service. A lot of my, my hometown friends, they, they, served our, they served my country. We went so, to a, a Operation Desert Freedom at 1990. Desert Storm. Desert Storm that's, so we're the same age. I'm 47. Well, 51. You're 51, but so you went when you were 22. I would have gone 21. when I was 18. I was 21. 21. I would have been 17 or 18. I was 91. I was 21. I, was, I graduated high school in 92. And so I was going to go straight. And I tried to sign up, and my sister said, don't do it. It's an oil war. Don't do it. And so I didn't sign up, but, you know. I mean, I was already in. Yeah. So I already been in for two years. I appreciate you not lying to me. I appreciate, not, you, I appreciate I, you just, just telling me I, I can't. It's not my place to But say. there's a difference between lying and saying I just can't tell you. I appreciate that. I can't. I mean, I just can't tell you. I, I respect that. I'm not going to lie about it. No, I appreciate that. Because I watched the video when I was watching it. I was like, well, you were, you were wrong about who he was. Well, he was, but he did, why did he sit behind me? And then why did he? Why did he, he was getting ready. He sits there every day because he oh, so, waits for a ride to go home. So just, 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 just understand the exact coincidences here. I when I was here the other day, he comes to sit behind me. When I walk out the door, he walks out the door. And then I look and there's a guy behind me who I recognize sat behind me last time. So I put him on camera. Right. I hope he's not an undercover agent because I just blew his cover. He's definitely not. He's done an that's undercover why, agent. What kind of agent is he? That's why when I when, when I seen your video, I was like, I thought it was funny because you were totally wrong. He's get, he I'm was, totally wrong. But what kind of agent he is he? He's getting off work. He's not an agent of any kind. Is he working law enforcement? No. What does not he do? At all. Work for government? Work for Yoast? No. no. Work for BCI? No. Not even none of them. So then, why does he wear khaki pants and a, and a polo shirt? I wear khaki pants and a polo. I wear khaki shirt. pants and a polo shirt too. But what does he do here? I can't. Say Who's his supervisor? He he be up in a minute. Okay. Okay. That's that's all I can ask of you. I asked. Now, I, like I said, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, but I also, as a Marine, I'm about, you know, Simplify, loyalty and truth. And Fidelis is all is true. Always That's right. faithful. So I got to, I got to always stay, faithful I'm, to the country. Say anything about anybody else. Always other than faithful myself. to America. That's right. I'm well, with you. Faithful to the core is first. And then what is God, it? God, country and core. God, country, core. Marines out there. You got a Marine here. God, country, core. But 
me speaking on him is not in my not job. Your, not in your position. I, I would be mm. my job talking about somebody else. And just so you know, all around the building right now, you got, you got a pig over here talking to some of the security guards. Uh, you got the pigs over here watching me as well. And, and remember, you sign up to be a pig, you sign up to be a Nazi. Just remember that. So you pigs watching, you're disgusting. You'll go down in history as a Nazi. So just want to be clear about that. History will look back and say, your dad was a pig and I, he wasn't related to me. But now they've alerted everybody that I'm here with a camera. <laughs> He's here with a camera, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for your time. No God bless. Oh, I'm going to wait right here. I just didn't want, to, didn't want to crowd your space. I wanted to talk to the people. Thank you. Careful with your mask. I don't want you to get sick. God bless. Look how nice this building is. Look how beautiful the building is. And look at this thing. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. People sleeping in the streets, but this place is nice. This, we have 25% of homeless people or veterans, but look how nice this place is. How beautiful, how beautiful is this? Look at the art on the wall over there. 25% of homeless or veterans, but look at how nice this is. Look how beautiful this is. I mean, the walls alone, I mean, I, you, think I'm, you think I'm joking, I'm not joking. I mean, the wall itself, I mean, look at that. Look at that, just beautiful. 25% of homeless people or veterans, I mean, look at these doors. I mean, just the functionality of these doors is beautiful. 25% of homeless people are veterans. I mean, just take a look. Just look at the beautiful structure this place is. Man, look at that architecture. 25% of homeless people are veterans. Okay. Just, just giving you a little perspective. Just giving you a little bit of perspective. the supervisor is going to come up and say, I don't want to be on camera. But yeah, you can have one of your people follow me, but you don't want to be on camera. And now the Marine is over there talking to somebody. He's, he's, he's moving with his hands. He's talking with, see that? He's talking with somebody, isn't he? Yes, he is talking with somebody. Hmm. Convenient. And you have all the security over here looking at me. All these guys are looking at me, watching me. I mean, take a look how nice this is. Man, look at that. Look at that art piece. Look at that art piece. 25% of homeless or veterans. Look how nice that is. Man, it's beautiful. Look at that mirrored side of the escalator. 25% of homeless or veterans. Okay, okay, okay. Just giving you guys a little bit of perspective. Let me guess, they're not going to come. He's not coming. No. He's not coming. No. How did I guess? How, what, now, how come he's, what, now, what department is this so I can file a complaint? Okay. I want to file a complaint for being stalked. I have that right. Um, I would probably would contact the CPD. CBD? CPD, Columbus Police Department. Columbus Police Department. Contact them to file a complaint? Well, yeah, because you were outside. You weren't in the building. Oh, so but I want to file a complaint with his personnel office. He's a public of servant. That means I have the right yeah, to do I, that. I can't say anything about it. So. These are my like rights. speaking to somebody else about your no, personal No, but, but he's, he, it, no, no, it's not the same. I'm, I'm, the same. I'm a private citizen. He's yeah, a public time, servant. he was off the clock. But he was, was he, was he off the clock here? Yes. So he's off the clock behind me here. He's off the clock behind me there. Yes. Yes. He's off the clock. <laughs> There's 600 people watching. They don't believe it. Well, it's the truth. He was off the I'm clock. I'm just saying. I swear to you. On my oath as a, as how did, a, as how, a marine. Okay. How did that other clock. security officer know who I was? I mean, you, he wasn't you, here. You were in here two days ago. Right, but he wasn't here when I was here two days ago. Did they review the, the tapes? Red? The guy who came up and took the zip drive. Oh, he was here. I didn't see him. I didn't see oh, him. I, I filmed everything. I'll go back and look. I mean, he was standing around in the lobby, but he, he wasn't there. So I don't get, so someone who's a public servant twice sat behind me, followed me out the doors, but I don't get to know he's which... He's not a public servant. Public servant means he's law enforcement. He's no, public a servant means he works for government. That's a public servant. He so there's, work for the government. There's a line. The citizens are above the line. The, the public servants are below the line. They he uphold the, the rights. Okay. Just like I don't work for the so government. So I don't get to know who the person is stalking me so I, I can know, file I a complaint. Was, I don't know who, who, who was stalking I just out sprinted him, bro. I just showed 600 people that he was literally following me. But I can't... It's not my, it's not my job to talk about somebody else. Speak into the microphone. 
it's not my job to talk about somebody else. I'm the security supervisor. That's it. You're the security supervisor? Yes. Good for you, bro. I'm glad you're doing well. Congratulations. You got a family? You got kids and stuff? I, I hope mean, you do, older, I hope you're doing well. Grown. I hope you're doing well. I mean, I I'm hanging in there. Doing well. You know. Yeah, I want to have a family one day. I'd like to. I'd like to get married and have some there kids. I mean, I'm only 47. I'm still young enough. I, people live to be 80 or 90 if they don't get killed by the That's government. Right. If the government doesn't kill them for dissenting peacefully, or stalk them, right. or terrorize them, or follow them around from city to city, I'm being followed. Did you know that? I mean, I've seen your videos. I've seen you. Be I'm being followed. Yeah, 100%. They emailed my Airbnb. I seen. I read. I, I watched that. Yeah, they did. So that's all I'm gonna say. I, okay, I, I just can't talk about. It'd be hey, like listen, me talking about Barb. I mean, I, nice I, to meet you, Barb. I, I would lose my job. I'd nice be, to meet you. I would lose, give up my job to, to tell, talk about somebody else. All I can say is he works in the, he works in the building, but at, at two o'clock he's off the clock. Okay. And whatever he did was. So off then the it's, clock. it's it's it's. It, it, what time is it now? It's after two. It's after two, right? Fourteen twenty-six. Okay. So he got off just at two o'clock both times when I was here. Yes, sir. And just happened to be Every behind day. me both times. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. He sits there every day. And okay. He just happened to sit right there. He sits right there every day, and then he follow, he walks out the same time I walk out. I don't know what he did after work. I yeah. had no I had no communication with him. I just asked him if he knew where to get a good coffee. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate you, dude. All right, brother. Thanks a lot for your time. Nice to meet you, Barbara. Nice to meet you, Barbara. Are you guys law enforcement? Are, you guys law, are they law enforcement? Sir, are you, are you guys law enforcement? You, you can't hear me speaking? I'm blind, are you deaf? I asked if you're law enforcement. State troopers. So, does the guy who's just sitting here, is he, is he law enforcement too? Does he work with you guys? You don't know? Nobody knows anything. Does he work with you? Your security, does that guy work with you? No, he doesn't? You don't know. You don't know anything. Okay, got it, got it. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your time. Does that does that gentleman work with you? The guy that the guy that just walked out with the with the khakis, does he work with you? He was wearing khakis and a, and a shirt, kind of a built white guy. He works with you? He does. He works for you. What department are you in? For you. How you doing? I'm Chili. I have a channel called Delete Laws. Nice to meet you. So what do you do at the building? What's your, what's, I want to file a complaint. What's your, what's your specific division? I am security, but I'm on a break. Oh, you're on a break? Yeah. Oh, but I'd like to file a complaint. How do I do that? Do you have a form I can fill? Okay. You don't have a form? So that guy works for you. The, Wait, listen to what I'm telling you. I'm on a break. Oh, you're on a break. Yeah. Oh, I'm so. It's coming down. I, I, I hate to ask anybody to help out. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to mess up your break. Problem, man. Okay. Well, like you work out, man. I work out every day. Every day, brother. Hey, I need to get like you, man. Lift hard, lift heavy, never get stop. Like you, man. Get crazy. If you don't have any weights, do push ups. Do hundreds of push ups a day. How many? I do uh, 50, 30, 20 in three minutes. I'll do 50 push-ups, and then I wait 30 seconds. I do 30 push-ups, I wait 30 seconds, I do 20 push-ups. Stairs up and down and back up. Yeah, so, so at first though, do 50, wait a minute, minute and a half, let yourself recoup, get yourself, if you can get 50, yeah. or, do, or do 20, wait 60 seconds, 20, wait a minute and a half. Do, do, you, do you do the cardio? Oh man, sprints. I doing three mile runs. No, 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 no. You're, we're, we're, you're, you're over 30, right? No. no. You're under 30? I am. Okay, so if you're under 33 mile runs are fine, but you wanna make sure you get maximum velocity. You wanna make your body go to maximum exertion, maximum you burst. Know, you, you know, you're, you got a point, man. I was doing it yesterday. And I was like, the way I was doing it, I was like jogging like, 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 like I wasn't lifting my right. Legs. And if you do have to take on a guy like me, I would, you would never have to because I'm a peaceful person. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm totally oh, not, like if the, uh, someone who's actually <laughs> trains and is tough, then if you haven't done those burst activities, you're gonna yeah, gas out. Yeah. You'll you know, you're right. Burst activities. And you wanna bring, when you burst, you want two or three bursts in your sprint. Get to maximum and then get to maximum, get to maximum, then shut it down. The distance doesn't matter. You're right. Okay. You're right. All right, man, I'm gonna enjoy my break, man. Enjoy your break. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot, appreciate that.
Well, how many of you guys think this will go anywhere? How many of you guys think if I file a complaint, it's gonna go anywhere? Where do you think that's gonna go? Oh, you're talking about my cold sore? Yeah, it's from stress. It was from stress finding out that James Sheets was murder. Yeah, that, it, it, I didn't sleep for three days. For three days I couldn't sleep after I found out that, that I actually had confirmation on video that James Sheets was murdered. I didn't sleep for three full days. I finally, on the fourth night, I, uh, I overdosed on chocolate. I overdosed on sugar. I must have had like four or 5,000 calories. And when you don't eat a ton of sugar, when you eat a shit ton of sugar, it put, it, the carbohydrates hit your system, they bring you to a flush point, and then you pass out. So, yep. Yep, okay. I mean, look how nice this is, guys. I mean, look how nice. I mean, this is so nice. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It, you can, you, maybe you can't see how beautiful that is, but man, that's beautiful. 25% of homeless are veterans, but that's so nice. 25% of homeless are veterans. But man, look at that. Look at that. The great state seal of Ohio. Man, 25% of homeless are veterans, but that's nice. Look at all that beautiful art. But then we have 25% of people are homeless who are veterans. Okay, just put it in perspective. That's where your government, that's where, that, that's where your money's going. I don't, I, I mean, I don't like being stalked. It doesn't, it doesn't affect my, it doesn't affect me as a person because I believe that, um, I believe that, well, I'll just tell you what I believe and I don't give a shit what you think. I believe that God has put me on this mission to change this country, to change this bullshit system of oppression, murder and rape. I believe that God is looking out for me. And, and my family will tell you, I've never been religious, never. So I'm not religious, I just believe it. There has to be some kind of, there has to be something because I don't have any fear. And you should be afraid when you're being stalked. I don't have any of that. I did get confirmation he does work for security here. Okay. So, security state, police state. Do you know what I, when I say security state, do you know what I mean when I say that? I mean, I understand the concept of, of a security state. What do you think it is? I'm not a security state, I'm just a super No, no, I know that, but what, when, I, when you hear security, you're not on camera, but what, when you hear security state, what do you think that is? Well, you're talking about like the government controlling everything in the streets. Right, but I'm not like, talking about the, like law, the police like. state's one thing, the security state. Do you know what I mean when I say no, those I words? Security state is when government puts security apparatuses around it that strip you of your fundamental constitutional rights. That's what a security state is. For example, showing your ID when you go into a publicly funded building. Now, security measures are one thing, and some people would argue that's a violation of your Fourth Amendment to be secure in your person against unreasonable searches. You have to empty your pockets and be wanted and all that stuff. But I kind of agree with that. I think you should have to go through security. I don't want crazy people I mean, bombing our buildings. Building, so, you know, to gain access, you have to make sure we can't have weapons in the building right i understand that but 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 showing your id so what do you understand what security state is now when the security takes away your fundamental rights in the name of government empowering them to do it yeah. that's what security I state is understand that. okay i don't think i don't think filing a complaint i mean he said he was security but your security who's the head of security he's not he's not security with me though he's not oh so he's a different security yes which which different security is I he i can't say nothing oh like that. so I'm there's two honest. so there's two levels of security here because how many people attacked this building? How many people have tried to shoot this building up? Nobody in my 16 years. But there's two levels of, of nobody in your 16 it, years. I mean, I, I would tell, be telling you too much about You'd be telling me not, too much. Because I'm not allowed to. It's not my position to say what he does or You what. think people are plotting to take over this building? Probably not. No. But I'm still no. not doing my job. And being a Marine, you would understand I got I to gotta protect what I'm what I'm dealing with. But right. it's not like I'm only protecting him because he's a person and he's not, he's not in my No, department. he's working as a part of the security state against me. No, he's not. Not he's nothing not? against you. Okay. But no one's ever tried to attack. Anybody shoot at this building ever? Anybody ever throw eggs at this building? Someone, yeah. th someone put a hole up there in the building once. One time someone put a hole in this building? Anybody thrown rocks at this building before? Well, during the protesting a little bit. During the protesting? During the George Floyd protests? When they murdered a guy in the streets and everybody was mad? But did anybody try to come in here and attack people? Not that I know of. No. Okay. Well, listen, I do appreciate you serving our country. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, right-handed. Sorry, sir. Apologize, sir.
Well, you guys are seeing it. You know, it's so funny because I'm still waiting for my Airbnb host to send me a screenshot of his message that he got where they said, we know he's staying at this place and we want you to kick him out, right? Uh, but now you're seeing it. You guys got to see it. They're following me. Why? My camera dangerous? What's so dangerous about me that you have to follow me? Does anybody here, let's just take a poll. Does anybody here, oh, dude, timed out, timed out. You can take your, uh, for, and I believe this is gonna be, was it Hamilton that said it? For those who, cha who trade a little bit of, of, for those who trade liberty for security are destined to get neither. Was that, was that, was that Hamilton or was that Madison? I can't remember. Does anybody know who that was? Was that, for those willing to change liberty, to, to sacrifice liberty for security are destined to get neither. And I'm messing up that quote, but you guys have heard you. I know a lot about government. I know a lot about law. I don't know everything, all right? I'm just a person. I'm just a person. I'm just a human being. Man, look at the wind. Look at the wind. Look at the wind. There's the wind right now. Yeah, Pete, I, I, I saw his video and I told him that I unsubscribed. There's a coffee shop right there. Let's grab a coffee and then get the flock out of here. What did one shepherd say to the other shepherd? Let's get the flock out of here. So let me get a coffee here. I need a triple espresso. A triple espresso black. Black. I agree with Basura. I agree with Basura. Basura. I agree with Basura. I agree with that person right there. That that's the truth. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Benjamin Franklin by Chevy. Chevy put that up there. You guys have espresso here? You guys have espresso here? Do you have espresso here? Okay. Starbucks or coffee bean? Of course they. Where, where's that at? In that building? Oh, I see it. Thank you. Thank you. Chick's a babe. I just passed a babe. Just smoke it. Is that Starbucks open? No. God bless it. Really? Is it? 2 p.m. 2 p.m., huh? Okay. Thanks. Appreciate you. Chili? Yeah, I'm chili. How'd you know that? YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, so are, is all the security watching the YouTube channel now? Yours? No. Oh, just you? No, I watch other channels. Oh, you watch other channels that react to me? Yeah. Dude, all you gotta do is create a YouTube channel and put my name in the subject line or put delete laws, a thousand people will watch your video. And not interested. I know, I know. And just so you know, uh, they're all wrong. They just want people to look at their channel. That's I all. I've watched your, their content with you in it. It's just garbage, dude. I do appreciate you telling me you say it though. And thanks sir, if you're a subscriber, I appreciate it a lot. Have a good day. You too, brother. Take care of yourself. 
I'm afraid to go in that door sideways. I don't want to die. Did you guys just hear that? You see, this is why guys like San Joaquin Valley Transparency, why he's no longer relevant. This is why guys like Direct D are no longer relevant. Because we've seen you guys filming cops for a decade. We've seen you, uh, San Joaquin Valley Transparency, we've seen you filming cops for a decade, and you've had zero effect. None. Uh, we've seen you direct D stand there and act like an idiot after you got out of prison, and you, you have zero effect. Zero. The reason why this channel's growing so much is because we are change. We are change. You guys are status quo old news. You're the same old, same old. Hey, check out this new channel as you grift off of them. Talk about grifting San Joaquin Valley Transparency. You take my videos and you take other people's videos to get views on your channel because you're irrelevant. Don't mess with the bull, you get the horns. And, you, and just so you guys know, the guy said he sees other channels that make videos about me. You folks, I'm suing your asses. It's at all. I'm just deciding which state we sue you in. And there's only two channels right now, but I'm going to sue them both. I'm going to sue them. That, that's just the way I am. I'm dealing with my own legal issues right now, so they're spared for the moment. Yeah, Zayner, I got a real tiny little space, man. I got the I got the most economical space I could find in a uh, in a in a inexpensive uh, place is what I did because uh, you see the thing is 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 that when someone hits you, you hit them back. Now, don't break the law. But if someone is attacking you, you have a right to defend yourself. Now, for me in particular, I can't have any violence in my life. But what I'm talking about is not talking about an actual fist fight. I'm not talking about actual physical violence. What I'm talking about is, is when someone hits you, when someone hits you, and I'm talking about however they decide they're going to hit you, whatever they say they're going to hit you with, You hit them back, but you hit them back harder and you take what they've earned from you and you put it in your pocket and you just got to be a badass mother. And if you're not, well, then my friends, you're a victim. You become a victim. All the people in Ironton who are waiting for me to come back, do what I did. Don't wait for me to get back. Ironton folks, don't wait for me to come back. Take over, take this camera and become the king of Ironton. Make it so that I become irrelevant in Ironton because you took the ball and you scored. Put a city ordinance through, put a city ordinance through that makes it so that the city of Ironton doesn't tow cars. Hey Grim, you're gone, dude. The city of Ironton is not okay. The city of Ironton is a mess. It's so corrupt, it's disgusting. Okay. Yep, I think so too. I know. I know it. How you doing? Larry, if it's not on camera, there's nothing I can do to help you. If you don't have the video of that cop hitting you on camera, you're going to have a problem. Oh, you brought the RV? It's not going to work in Columbus. It's not going to work in Columbus, Zane. But I do want to meet up with you. Uh, maybe I'll meet up with you in Ironton uh, this next week. Uh, it depends on if I'm out of town or not. Zane, let's do a phone conversation and let's talk about that. Let's talk about how we're going to meet up. Because they're definitely tracking me, man. You guys, there's 750 people in here. Hit the like button. Take your finger 
and push the like button pretty please. And then if you guys have not picked up the trifold, please go to my website. This is what I do for a living. I sell this trifold so that you don't talk to cops. You use this. If they tell you to open your glove box, you show them the case law. If they say, open up your console right here, and my console's closed, you, sh you show them you open up, I don't have to open up my glove box. You use this indestructible trifold. Make sure everybody has one of these indestructible trifolds in every car that you have. You understand? And if they say, hey, don't film me, you show them the case law without speaking. This is how you use the trifold. They're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna pat you down. You see the top words there? And then you show them, here's the only reason why you can pat me down. All right, everybody should have one of these indestructible trifolds. It's gonna help you immensely, and it also helps what I'm doing, because I'm never gonna stop. Whether I have support or don't have support, I don't care, I, I won't ever stop. Oh, is that, I'm sorry about that. You have rights, cops have duties. Sorry to hear that, man. Um, hey, William, didn't Spooljeric resign? Isn't Kent Freeman no longer gonna be charged with two felonies? Didn't Spooljeric get caught uh, dipping his pen in the, in the child ink, didn't he? Is that change or is that not change? William, aren't the cops in, in Struthers eventually gonna be arrested for murder? Isn't that gonna happen, William? What change do you offer, William? What change do you offer? None. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, I offer nothing. William offers nothing. Just comes in and is like, what are you doing? More than you, Will. More than you. Let's find a coffee. I filed three civil rights lawsuits in the past two months, William. They're gonna take a year or two to shake out. How many have you filed? How many people have you helped, William? You know what makes me really sick? You know what makes me really sick? That woman who's got the dead kid. I watched that whole video that the fraud auditor did. I watched the whole video, everything she said. Number one, it was all lies. 99% of it was lies. Number two, honey, focus on your dead kid. Go get those cops that murdered your kid. I'm sorry that I was called a racist when I was in Missouri and I was trying to help you. I'm sorry about that. But I didn't victimize you. I paid for everything. I created the posters for your kid. I created the art display with the 10 year old little girl. You didn't do shit. You sat and watched everything. What a pathetic woman that is. Why don't you get justice for your kid, lady? Why don't you get justice for your kid? Why are you focused on me? Because you get attention if you focus on me. Anybody here makes a channel and puts Chili De Castro or delete laws in the subject, you're gonna get a thousand views. Tina, focus on your dead kid. I cried my eyes out about that kid. I cried many nights about that kid. Focus on the murder of your son. That woman wasn't wronged in any way, shape or form. Spuljeric is working as a painter. John Spuljeric is working as a painter. Yeah, and, and, and she couldn't get any subs till I got her her subs. But it's just disgusting. I watched her video yesterday, all lies. Just, just lies. She's, I'm gonna wrap her up in the lawsuit, but I'm just busy. I'm just busy. Focus on your dead kid, lady. You know, it's like, you know Josh from Accountability for All? Josh tried to walk her into a movie deal for her dead kid, and I had nothing to do with it. I didn't even know Josh then. He walked her into a movie deal and she walked herself out. The producer sat down. When you produce a movie, I produced a few movies. Uh, I produced a few documentaries. I've never produced a full movie. I've only produced uh, two long, -term, long uh, feature length documentaries. And then I I've, worked, I've worked on a lot of films, but I didn't produce them myself. I wasn't the producer on the credits. So, so. Josh from Accountability for All tried to walk her into a movie deal that would, and Josh knew about her because I went there to help her. Every other influencer she called didn't help her, <laughs> but I did. And so, so he tried to walk her into a movie deal and you know what happened? She walked herself out. When you sit down at a round table to produce a movie, everybody has to get on the same page. And the producer said after the second meeting, get her out of here. We're done with her. She's nuts. Cause she is, she's a nutty chick. I mean, you guys saw it. She came to Ironton to complain about me. What about your dead kid, lady? What about your dead kid? The kid that was murdered. Pathetic. Pathetic.
but you get more views if you talk about me. So go by delete laws. If the cop tells your passenger to get, it's called the Terry era is the last one I produced. And before that it was called D law. And that was a pilot. So it wasn't two documentaries. Oh, uh, take him out of timeout. Take the boring sandwich out of timeout. Take him out of timeout. A boring sandwich is my buddy. Take him out of timeout. I don't know what he said, but unless he turned to the dark side, please, if you can remove him from timeout, a boring sandwich is my friend. So, um, so if the cops say, give me your ID to your passenger, then you want to say, nope, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. And here's the reason why that's okay. Tribe. I know, man, listen, you're trying to keep up with all the trolls, try to get to know their names of the people who come in here. I know tribe. I'm not mad at you, dude. I'm not upset with any of the people who help. I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate everybody's help. I really do. I'm not a one man show at all. You know, I have backers who support me. So no matter what happens, we don't stop. Right, that's right. Freedom News Now has it correct. Freedom News, we are the next level of activism, which is change. It is change. That's that's the next level is change. It's not status quo, oh, I'm filming cops. No, dude. Sorry, San Joaquin. Stop pilfaging other people's videos for your relevance, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Stop saying, take a look at this new auditor, and then you put his video up as you get the views for it, San Joaquin. Do your own work, San Joaquin Valley Transparency, you fraud. Do your own work. Be relevant, fraud. Fraud, you're a frauditor. You're going to frauditor's channels to bash me because you're irrelevant. Don't mess with me. I will come at you. I will. And I'm doing it now. I'm calling him out. How, how many videos does San Joaquin make? Or does he take other people's videos who put themselves in harm's way and then make a video about them? Isn't that what San Joaquin Valley Transparency does? And how illegitimate is Direct D? He doesn't even know how to be an activist. He gets himself arrested because he doesn't understand the rules of the Constitution, how it works. Oh my God, right? Uh, he bashed me big time, dude. He bashed me big time. Uh, I called 10 different auditors. I have it all recorded. And I was going to raise five or 10 grand from each auditor. But then when San Joaquin Valley Transparency realized that he's irrelevant, that the new model of activism is actual change, then he started bashing me so he would be relevant. Look at the people bashing me. They get views. There's whole channels based on, on bashing me. Whole channels. And those guys feel like they're alpha males. <laughs> you are a beta male, bro. And you are a beta male. And then that chick who bashes me on some stupid channel, she lost her children. Her children were taken by DFYS, Division of Family Youth Services, because she pimped out her daughter. She sold her daughter for sex. And you're going to make a channel bashing me? No, San Joaquin Valley used to be. San Joaquin Valley is no longer relevant. Sorry. If he's relevant, then why are you spending time on frauditors channels, brother? Could you imagine me going to a channel that's like, yay, police, yay, police. <laughs> and Direct D, hey, Direct D, eat something, brother. Have some chicken. You're looking tiny, bro. You're looking like a little bitch. Get some muscle on your body. Go work out, Direct D. You look like a tiny little wussy. Just want to let you know. <laughs> You guys don't understand. I don't have any fear. I don't fear any person. So yeah, Direct D. I, I, the funny part is about Direct D, I used to watch his channel. I used to leave him comments. Crazy, just crazy. Uh, uh, so just so you know, uh, 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 for, yeah, Direct D got put in torture cuffs. Direct D, see, you don't have the brain power not to be put in torture cuffs. You don't have the intelligence. You don't have the knowledge to avoid being put in torture cuffs. You just don't know how it works. But you're used to that from your years in prison. Bottom boy. How was being on the bottom, Direct D? <laughs> how many times did you have to take the bottom? How many times did you get your shit pushed in, Direct D? <laughs> I'm just being honest. Free Eric Brandt. All right, let's go to something positive. I just, listen to me. If you take a shot at me, I'll take a shot at you back just that simple. But the, the frauditors, I'm suing them in federal court. You can do whatever you want on YouTube, but if you disparage my good name and I, there's no proof to your claims, I sue you. I take all your money. You're gonna, you're, you guys are going to watch it happen. 
You guys are going to watch it happen. Starbucks near me. I need one that's open. I need a triple espresso. Open now. Oh man, I'm downtown. I'm downtown and I came from Mitch and Murray. That closes at 6.30. Is that in a mall though? I don't want to go inside of a mall. It's not in a mall. Let's go here. Let's go to this one right here. So you guys, I want you guys, let me make sure this volume is down. I want you guys to go to my website, Delete Laws, if you want to have the trifold and put it in your car. Uh, they're going to pat you down. Don't film me. Give me your ID. A couple more in here on this one right here. Watch your mouth. How many people curse out cops? If you curse out cops, right, and you curse them out, and they tell you to watch your mouth, you want to read them the 1971 case of Cohen versus California that says it was determined that I have every right to call you a mother in peace, you piece of, right? So you wanna make sure you have this because you can say that I have every right to curse you out, but when you go, hey pig, here's the law, show my camera, show the pig. Here's the law, I show, I say, hey, go yourself pig, go your family, your dog, go your mom, yourself, right? And I say that to a pig. And then the pig says, you better watch your mouth or I'm going to arrest you. You show your camera first. You say, actually, the 1971 case of Cohen versus California makes it so I can say anything I want to you. Here you go, pig. Here you go, you dirty pig. You have to have it on you. You got to be carrying it on you. And I always have to raise funds because I got to pay people, man. And I haven't, I haven't been, you know who needs to get paid? Shauna. Shauna needs to get paid. She needs a nice check. This chick has been working around the clock. I'm gonna put up Shauna's PayPal Cash App Venmo. Shauna has been working around the clock. She's not here right now, she's probably working. She's probably working for you to uphold your rights. She just graduated from paralegal school. So, she's, she's, she's a big wig in my world, I'll tell you that. She's a big wig, Bobby Law. But you know, I'm still looking for the website guy, remember that, I'm looking for for the website guy who can build a WordPress site where we just do the downloads for the public information requests, for the demand for return of property, for the certificate of service, for the certificate of authenticity. So we're gonna do a website called Delete Laws Downloads and then you'll be able to go there to get your public information request for Arkansas, to get your demand for return of property for Alaska. So you can get your uh, uh, public, inf or your FOIA. You wanna file a FOIA, Freedom of Information Act. Do you know how to fill that out? That's gonna go on Delete Laws Downloads. You'll be able to get it there. So I'm looking for the, I'm not doing a Dropbox, I'm doing a website. So, so I'm looking for the right person to build the, the, the WordPress site. I'm looking for the right person to build the WordPress site or the website where I can put all of these documents so that you guys can get them. Cause so many people will be like, hey, I need a public information request for Oklahoma. Well, just so you know, when you file that public information request, it's not as simple as saying, hey, I want a public information request. You have to have the case law listed inside of there. You have to have the Sunshine Act from your state listed. So then you'll be able to get it from Delete Laws Downloads. That's the whole point. That's why I'm trying to find the right web person. I'm trying to find the right web person. Uh, I didn't say Shanna was drafting documents or complaints. That's not what I said. I said she's working for freedom. She's working for liberty. Yeah, you know, listen, uh, it, San Joaquin Valley took a shot at me. Tried to say I was grifting him for money. Sorry, San Joaquin. I got 10 people on audio. All, I had the same conversation with you. So if San Joaquin's going to take a shot at me, I'll take a shot back at you, buddy. And I'm talking about with words because you're too much of a bitch to take me on. And we know that. We know that, San Joaquin. Between me and you, it would be no match. So I'm not challenging you physically. We both know it would take one arm and I would put you to the ground. We know that. So I'm not challenging you physically. You're a weak bitch. But as far as intellectually, if you want to take a shot at me, you can. Let's go, Mo. Let's go. You want to come at me? Let's go at each other. 
You're dog shit, dude. You're you're a has been. You are a has been. I didn't use any word Devin, and I'll use any words I want. So I'll say whatever I want. I'm not going to be limited. I, I I am what I am. Get get a get get a trifold, you guys, if you would please. Go by the website, delete laws. Get a trifold. Get the indestructible trifold. If you can't afford it, this is one of the ones I printed out because I gave my indestructible one away. Great Lakes Audits is in the house. I appreciate you coming by. Great Lakes Audits. You guys, go subscribe to him. Uh, Great Lakes and I are working together right now. Um, Great Lakes and I are working together right now. Uh, so someone just said James Freeman blew me up. Who thinks James Freeman won that debate? How many people think James Freeman won that debate? I think he got hammered. Oh, what? San Joaquin? Yeah, I was trying to crowdfund an app. Yep, that's right, Basura. I was trying to crowdfund an app with, with people who are in the in the activist community. Yeah, my best friend is gay. I haven't used the uh, F-A-G word. Freeman did. Freeman used the F-A-G-G-I-T word. I don't use that word because my best friend's gay. So I don't, I don't use any kind of derogatory slang words like that for homosexual people. I don't talk like that about gays. Uh, pe gay people, when you live in Hollywood long enough, you know, you find out gay people are a lot like people. They're a lot like people. They're just people. <laughs> they got a mom and a dad and a sister and a brother. And sometimes the really cool part about West Hollywood, California, where I lived was that, um, that the, the gays there, some of those gays had been disowned from their family. And so if you have Thanksgiving in West Hollywood, California, you can go to a Thanksgiving because their family has disowned them for being homosexual. Or they just don't like how they're treated when they go home, you know. And so they, what they do in West Hollywood, um, which is the gay capital of America, they, 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 have, uh, they have Thanksgiving smoking chick was smoking they have a thanksgiving party every every thanksgiving christmas as well christmas the gaze against the bible so sin so is your lust so is your so is your greed but but we don't count those sins because you're not gay gay is against the bible but so so is being a sloth that's one of the seven deadly sins envy San Joaquin Valley transparency. Envy is one of the seven deadly sins. Why do you envy me, dude? I don't even, I've been nothing but cool to you. We had a good rapport. But the problem is, is he's a has-been. That's the problem. Oh, really? Is that right? Go ahead, ladies. Is that right? How you like it? How you like being followed? You enjoy that? How do you like that? Got you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Never a dull moment. He, he quickly turned off. It's funny. He took a right and then took a right. So where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Where are you going in your Ford unmarked car? <laughs> unmarked SUV, all dark windows. Where are you going, bro? Just incredible. Our government, the personnel in our government are absolute dog shit. They really, truly are dog shit in our country. We have just entered into a really tyrannical police state, prison state, death state. And that's exactly what's happened, you know. Oh, I see. Two-man cruise, huh? Is that right? Is that right? Two-man cruise? Okay. Is that right? Uh-huh. Is that right? Where are you going, brother? Where are you heading? Let's see where you're going. Ah, perfect. I'm gonna get out of downtown, guys. I'm not gonna stay down here. I'm just gonna get out of here. There's too, there's too much going on down here.
that's insane what's going on right now you guys wouldn't believe it you'd have to actually see it to believe it it's pretty crazy it is pretty crazy I ditched them both You know, and by the way, just just so you guys know, let me let me let me explain it, right? So this is a new style of filming that I accidentally created. I didn't try to create this this style of filming, um, uh, audit, uh, uh, activism or auditing. I didn't try to create this style. It just so happened that I wanted to, I wanted to call down. I wanted to strike down this guy from from the Tempe. Arizona Police Department and so I turned the camera around and I filmed him behind me like this and then that style that I that I you know accidentally created uh, caused a bit, a bit of a controversy inside of the inside of the inside of the community of, of, of people who who do activism and so I, I don't I don't really call it you know auditing anymore So this style that I do um, has some people upset. They're so angry. He sped off like a rocket. Wow. Wow. Hey guys, I'm nonviolent. <laughs> hey people following me, uh, you know, unless you pull a gun on me, I don't, I, I, I'm a nonviolent person. So I don't know why they're following me, but they definitely are following me 100%. That was a different car with a, one guy, dark glasses, dark windows. I have it on my, my dash cam. I mean, that guy sped off like a rocket. He's nowhere even, he took off a hundred miles an hour. He's gone. Like I, I, I tried to catch up, he's gone. So the thing is, is, and this is, this is what I'll, I'll just say to you guys, there's absolutely nothing about me or my life that I won't talk about out loud. Nothing other than my family, just cause I want to, you know, it's not appropriate. You know, I don't, I don't bring up anybody else's families. I don't even tell cops to F their mother or F their children. I mean, I, I, maybe I have one time in my past, but not very often. I mean, when I get really pissed off, I might've said something that was out of kind of out of sorts, but I try to leave people's families out of it. You know what I mean? I think the biggest disappointment for me with San Joaquin Valley Transparency are the, 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 the sons. I really liked all those guys. I really, I still do like all those guys. I really did like all those. I mean, I still do. I, I just, you know, they, they unsubscribed from my channel and, you know, but those guys were, I thought they were good youth. They were good young guys who had the right ideas and the right missions. You know, I'm just getting out of downtown. It, it's easier to see if anybody's following you once you get on a freeway. But in, in downtown, it was really easy because they're all one-way streets. So as soon as I take a right and then I take another right, you have to be going in a circle with me. Just like that guy. I, I, I got another video. I've never posted it. I'll post it, though. I'll post the video of the guy who was following me in Youngstown. And, and then in Youngstown, it was where they sent the email to the Airbnb and said that, that I was an anti-cop, anti-government, and that's not true. Anti-cop, yes. Anti-United States, no, not at all. I'm 100% for America. Uh, you guys hit, hit, hit the thumbs up button. Sorry about that. I'm not gonna get notification anymore, Joy. They've shadow banned my channel. Uh, the, the fact that there's 750 people in here is a miracle. 
because people must have just heard that I was on from other people. Because did anybody here get a notification? Did anybody here get a notification? Uh, no, not true, Boring Sandwich. San Joaquin Valley Transparency grifts off of other people. He takes their channels, he takes their video and puts it on his channel, he gets all the views, he gets the money for that. YouTube is based on views. The way you make money from YouTube is how many views you get. Just so you know, no notification. So, so, lock. Someone asked me in here. Someone asked me in here, they said, do I have restraining orders against me? I don't think any active restraining orders, but through my life I've had restraining orders. I've had a few restraining orders, um, mostly because uh, when I look at people intensely and I tell them, don't you fuck with me, then they become afraid. And so all you have to do is, is, is go down to the court and say, I'm scared. And then you get a restraining order. And through my life, I've had quite a few because if you make me mad and I turn and I face you and I look at you and I say, don't you fuck with me or I'll take you down, then they become afraid. But uh, throughout my history, I've never been arrested for battery, for violence, for domestic violence, which is just lies, just lies, you know. And I'm not going to go into detail on some of these things because I want those people to be left alone. You know, we had our moment. Obviously, it didn't work out. And so, you know, you just I don't want to cause them more strife in their life because, you know, the, a lot of people, just so you know, what they'll do with the restraining order is, you know, Great Great Lake Audits. Uh, Great Lake Audits is in the room right now. Great Lake Audits, if you look him up, he has a restraining order against him. The mail carrier who he was videoing, who's a public servant. Great Lakes Audits, who, who, Great Lake Audits, I'm, we're, we're working together. I'm working with him now because they listed me in their police report. And so I called uh, the people on my team and, uh, and Great Lake Audits. Um, so if you look him up though right now, he's got a restraining order against him from a woman who said that she was scared of him. Do you think Great Lake Audits was trying to terrify a mail carrier? Do you think that that's what happened? Or, or do you think that there's a completely different story there? How many people seen Great Lake Audits? How many people saw Great Lake Audits? How, how many people saw his video? How many people saw it? You're right. And just so you guys have noticed, I've never used another person's audit to get views on my channel. I've never done it. I've not once ever. People say, hey, cover this story, cover this story, cover this story. No. That, that belongs to um, uh, Great Lake Audits. That's his video. I, might, I put Great Lakes Audits arrest video on my channel with no monetization because it's not mine to monetize. It's not my right to, to monetize Great Lake Audits video. That's not my place. It's not my video. I won't do that. I won't take someone else's and put it on my channel. I won't do it. People ask me all the time, hey, cover this story, cover this story. No. I'm not profiting off of another man's work. I get no, that's not true. I guess I am. I'm profiting on the work of James Freeman. I'm profiting on the work of uh, DPN. I'm pr profiting on the work of uh, San Joaquin Valley Transparency when he used to have a pair of nuts and go out and do actual activism. I'm profiting on the work of Direct D, who does have a pair of nuts. They're just real litty bitty nuts, you know. So, so. You know, I'm profiting on the work. I'm standing on the shoulders of, of, of guys who've already gone out before me and I've set a new level. I've set a new paradigm. You know, uh, Lackluster, I think, did a couple audits. I think if you check his channel, he did a couple audits back in the day. Uh, but Lackluster is also one of those guys who goes in the comment sections and supports me, but then calls me a statist and stuff. And I don't really understand that. Because that's just not true. I'm not a statist at all. It's it's hurtful a little bit because I, I have so much respect for lackluster. It hurts my feelings, you know, to be honest. I guess that's the, the proper way to say it. 
It hurts my feelings. I talked to someone last night who, who, who pulled some shit with me yesterday and I really kind of went at him. And after we talked for 45 minutes, uh, I was doing 10 different things while we were talking. You know, I woke up this morning and I texted him and I said, I said, hey, uh, I said, hey, Jay, this is first initial. I said, hey, Jay, you know what I didn't say yesterday in that 45 minute conversation? I didn't say that you hurt my feelings. And that's the truth. You hurt my feelings. You can be an alpha male and have your feelings hurt. You can be hard as a rock and your feelings can be hurt, you know? And so when I woke up this morning, the first thing I did, I text Jay and I said, hey, Jay, the truth is what you did, it, it, while it made me mad, you know, that was the reaction you got. Uh, the truth is, is that you, 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 you know, you, you hurt my feelings, bro. And so... I'm gonna wait for this guy to pull out. Try to get, try to get this parking space right here. Let me get out the way here. So yeah, you know, um, it just hurt my feelings. You know, people, you know, and so, so I guess you know when I read the that someone sends me a screenshot that, you know, lackluster says something about me in the comment section of when people are making fun of me, you know, it hurt my feelings. That's the best way to say it. You know. But you know, I probably hurt other people's feelings too. So. You know, that's the way life goes. Sometimes you just, uh, sometimes you just, uh, you know, it's not simple. Life isn't simple. Are the trolls coming in? Yeah, Lackluster is a good friend of mine. Uh, he, uh, I love Lackluster. I just heard yesterday he said some things in some comments. Someone sent me screenshots and I was like, well, he is James Freeman's best buddy or they're pretty tight. And so, you know, I did, I did, uh, you know, call out James for a debate, but I only called out James after he publicly called me a statist. And just so you guys know, you know, this is not the end all be all, you know, YouTube, social media. This is not our goal. Our goal is to change this bullshit system. So, you know, while I come up, me personally as a human being, while I come up and get bigger on social media, get same thing happened to me on TikTok. As soon as I broke the rails of TikTok, the other people were jealous and they got full of envy and mad. And then they, they uh, said bad things about me. I shouldn't show you that. I'm not going to show you that. I was going to show you something. It's just inappropriate. <laughs> it's inappropriate for this channel. But needless to say, those were some short shorts. It looked good. That looked good. Looked tasty. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Karen G said, well, you support BLM. Uh, that's false, Karen. I don't support Black Lives Matter organization. I do support Black Lives Mattering. But I was very public about this on TikTok. I said from the beginning, I don't support the Black Lives Matter organization. As a matter of fact, Karen, appropriate name for you. Um, as a matter of fact, Karen, I have a video on this channel that says, it says, state an opinion that's unpopular. And I did it in a 60 second video. And I said, we should put to rest this idea of, of Black Lives Matter and chanting Black Lives Matter and we should begin to chant overturn Terry versus Ohio. And I was clear as a bell. I was clear as a bell. I was clear as a bell. You take care of yourself. I just I just booted you anyway, bro. So goodbye. Goodbye. I don't care. I don't care. You come at me, I'm gonna come at you back. You wanna talk shit about me? Let's talk some shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you packing. So I, I have been very adamant at supporting Black Lives Mattering. I'm all for it. Because the laws in this country were created against black people. If you didn't know that, then you haven't watched any of the lectures that I've taught, the origins and the history of law. That's what I became popular for on TikTok. I do support Black Lives Mattering. I do have lots of black friends in every different state in America. Really, I got tons of black friends, tons of black supporters. None more than Terrell Leak. Terrell Leak is a is a hero who saved people from a burning building. When they when they called me a racist on TikTok, uh, Terrell Leak called me on the phone and said, "How can I support you?" I'm black. I'm a veteran. Look up my name, Terrell Leak. I looked him up. 
and then he bought a couple posters from me, which was what I was selling at the time to be to keep a living because I'm allowed to make a living. <laughs> I'm not allowed to make a living, but the living that I make it lackluster. So lackluster, uh, just to give full transparency here, yesterday uh, someone sent me screenshots of some things that you had said in comments when I was on James Freeman's troll channel, and I just said out loud that it kind of hurt my feelings reading those things that you wrote. I said, lackluster and I are friends. I've known him for a couple years. We've exchanged emails and some conversations, but um, you know, it hurt my feelings reading the things that you posted yesterday. I think that you said I was a statist or something like that. I can't remember exactly the words. And so I just said out loud that my feelings were hurt. You know, I don't have the definition of status incorrect. Anybody here can look up the term what a statist is. A statist is someone who wants to give power to the state, that wants to give more power to the state even at the cost of your rights. So I'm not a statist at all. As a matter of fact, Lackluster, did you see the video that I made called Transparency? An advocate of political system in which the state has substantial centralized control over social and economic affairs. I'm so glad that you put that. I'm going to screenshot that. I'm going to screenshot that. Got it. Got a screenshot of it. So lackluster, then I invite you to watch the video I made called Transparency that nobody saw. Um, because it's not about, you know, me talking about controversial issues. But I, well, lackluster, I did a lecture last night mainly because of you. Because of you because of the comments I read you said about me. So I made a video last night at two o'clock in the morning. There's not a single country in the world that doesn't have a social contract, not one. And lackluster, look, if you wanna have a debate, I'm more than willing to have a debate with you. You can back up your position of volunteerism and anarchy, and I don't think that you can. By default, you're an anarchist. <laughs> I'm not for anarchy at all. No, I'm for rule of law. I'm for, I'm clearly for rule of law, but lackluster. Look, James had a very poor showing in our debate. He got shellacked and there is winners and losers in debates and there's winners and losers in life. So lackluster, if you want to back up your claims that I'm a statist and back up that you think I'm for anarchy, more than willing to debate you, man, more than willing to have a friendly debate with respect and dignity, just like I did with James Freeman. Uh, you notice I didn't treat James with any disrespect. And of course, uh, lackluster, I have... Uh, um, no, rule of law is, so So lackluster, I, I don't want to have this debate with you. It's not fair to read your comments and then try to translate your message through words. As you saw from the murder videos, 90% of, of communication is body language. And so lackluster, what you're saying is fundamentally, uh, it's just a flawed idea. And the reason why your idea is so flawed is because every single country in the world, every one of them, lives by a social contract. There's not one country. I, I guess you, if you want to say Somalia or the Honduras doesn't have a social contract, if you want us to be Somalia or the Honduras or compare us to those things, then lackluster, you go ahead and go to Somalia, you go over to the Honduras and let me know how it is when there's no rule of law. Let me know how that is. You know, let me know how you like it over there. Let me know how it is. Let me know how enjoyable it is living in a country that doesn't have a rule of law. It's dog shit. And, you know, the first social contract is the Bible, where we all agree to live under... Listen, lackluster, fair challenge, brother. I, I, matter of fact, let me just say it to the 800 people in here. I challenge you right now to back up your ideas on a fair debate. We'll go to Accountability for All's channel. He just gets out of the way and lets two men talk. I challenge Lackluster right now in front of 766 people right now. So Lackluster, your comments have no merit. You, you know, anarchy isn't rules. It's no rulers. You can't back that statement up. You can't. And so for that reason, I challenge you to a debate for you to back up your statements, Lackluster, for you to back up your statements. And as you saw with James Freeman, I will treat you with respect and dignity because I respect the hell out of you, bro. You know, and, and even when I had my bad moments, lackluster, you didn't beat me up for them. You just let me know you've overstepped your bounds. And I said, you're right. I've overstepped my boundaries. You know, I just, just to give full transparency, uh, lackluster and I talked on the phone one time and I was adamant about him pushing Terry versus Ohio. And he told me, go pound sand, brother. I'll do whatever I want in my channel. And then I said, you're right. He's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. Who am I to tell him what to do with his channel? That's not, that's wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. 
<laughs> I was definitely wrong. I was wrong. And Dale knows that I admitted I was wrong. I was 100% wrong. Who am I to tell him to do what? Obviously, he's right. He's one of the biggest channels on YouTube in this space. So he was correct and I was incorrect. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. And I did say, as Dale will tell everybody here, I said, I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry for acting that way with you, man. I'm just so passionate about Terry versus Ohio. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't make money from videos. That's not how I make money. I literally make money from people buying my products. That's how I make money. And then donators, people who donate to me, guys like David and, and Pam, and I can just list them all off, but there's just lots of them. How you doing, Struthers? Good to see you. So Dale, let me know if you accept my challenge to a debate on your terms, dude. You know, if you want someone else to host it, but the only thing is, uh, lackluster, if they chime in at all, I'll leave. I will leave the debate. I don't want anybody chiming in on our debate. I think you're a man. I know you're a man. I know you're, you're a real uh, thought leader. And so if you want to back up your ideas, then debate me because I don't think you can. You cannot back up the idea of anarchy. It always leads to violence. You cannot back up the idea of volunteerism. It always will lead to violence. You cannot back up socialism or communism. They always lead to government tyranny, always throughout the history of time. So if you want to have that, then I'll have it with you. Your call. Your call. And, and Dale, you know I respect you, dude. I mean, we've talked for a couple years. We talked before I was ever out, you know? So, you know, that sounds like I was coming out like I'm gay. <laughs> before I was ever out. Statism starts with violence. And Dale, we're not living under the rule of law here. This isn't the rule of law. This is tyranny. This is state-funded tyranny. They're following me around, Dale. They're following me around, dude. They're literally following me around. They're following me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're following me. So th that's not rule of law. Rule of law would be that man has a reason to protest. That man has a reason to, 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 to redress his government. And what he's doing is not tyrannical at all whatsoever. But they're following me, dude. So <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Do I got my card in my pocket? I do. I'm going to go get a triple espresso. Okay, so let me know, Lack. Let me know. Let's uh, let's meet on. Uh, I mean, I think Accountability for All did a really nice job. I think Accountability for All did a great job. He just let me and James talk. He got out of the way. He didn't. He didn't even chime in. James even told him at one point, "Why are you talking?" And then Accountability for All immediately disappeared. And then he put up the comments that were positive for him, and they put up the comments that were positive for me. And uh, I thought he did a really nice job. But that's not true. That's not the definition of statism, Dale. That's not the definition of statism. That is not the definition of statism. That you have rulers. That's just not what it is. Sorry. That's incorrect data. The data's wrong. <laughs> but I want to... Okay, so then I'll contact AFA. Oh, man. And if you guys haven't seen uh, uh, Lackluster's channel, get over there and subscribe. I mean, he has literally one of the best channels. He, I mean, his channel... Phenomenal. Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How you doing? Can I please get a triple espresso? Long? Can you make them long shots? Yeah. Okay, you keep the change. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen, I'm sure everybody here has seen Lackluster's channel. It's, uh, you know, uh, uh, and he has, it's just, it is what it is, man. There's some people who have a team of people and have great ideas and great storytelling abilities, and it's a phenomenal channel. I think you're going to get shellacked, Dale. I think you're going to get shellacked in the debate with me. I don't think anybody here can debate uh, against me as far as rule of law goes, just because the amount of reading that I've done. I haven't even finished the anti-federalist papers. I've only gotten through different chapters, but uh, just doing that amount of reading that I've done is, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to debate me. But but I, I could lose. I could lose. I could. He could beat me. You know. You never know.
just shellac for Dale. He didn't answer any of the questions. I asked some very direct, pointed questions, and he didn't answer any of the. Let me. I'm, I'm out here. I, I stepped outside because in that building I wasn't getting any reception. But uh, Dale, can you just can you can we have a serious debate? Because I'm serious, man. I really am serious. All the things you guys have been teaching to these people on YouTube is incorrect. Uh, especially uh, going for qualified immunity Oops. over Terry versus Ohio. Sorry, buddy. That's okay. Thanks. Is that, what does that look like to you guys? What does that look like to you guys? Yeah. And just so you guys know, it, it's not just lackluster. I'm going to have to, you know, and, and, let me, and let me give you guys a real bad idea that, that um, lackluster, it's set, dude. We'll set it for, uh, how about tomorrow night? We'll do it tomorrow night if AFA is available, accountability for all. Hopefully this, this cold sore is off my face. Makes me insecure, you know, it sucks having a cold sore. It's the worst. But um, hopefully maybe tomorrow night, Dale, if you have time, um, that would be great. But let me give you another bad idea that these people who don't have a, not Dale in particular, but the, the people who push the idea of qualified immunity. Let's get rid of qualified immunity, right? Not true. We do have to get rid of it, yes. It is in the top five. I've moved it up from seven, five in my book. But the number one is Terry versus Ohio. Okay, cool. Thanks, Dale. He's out of town for a few days is what he said, guys. I just want to translate the message. See, it's not fair when you're translating messages for someone else to have a fair debate. So, so let me ask you guys a question. Can my First Amendment right right now, let's just ask this question. Can my First Amendment right be limited? How you guys doing? Can my First Amendment right be limited by qualified immunity right now? Yes or no? Yes or no? Can, quali can qualified, delete laws. Delete laws. The name of the channel on YouTube is called Delete Laws. Gotcha. Yeah, the, yeah. So, so, wow. Good Lord. If you guys were not here, I would walk up to her and talk to her right now. Wow, she's gorgeous. Holy smokes. Um, so, so let me ask you a question and answer this for me if you can. Can qualified immunity walk up to me right now and, and take my camera away from me? Or is that Terry versus Ohio? That's Terry versus Ohio. Can, can my First Amendment right to, to petition or to assemble be taken away by qualified immunity? No, but it can be by Terry versus Ohio. Can my Second Amendment right, my right to bear arms, can that be removed from my, from my ability by qualified immunity or by Terry versus Ohio? By Terry versus Ohio. My Second Amendment can't be removed because an officer has qualified immunity. My Second Amendment can be removed because the officer's in fear for his safety. Can my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my person, house's papers, or effect, can that be removed by qualified immunity or can that be removed by Terry versus Ohio? That can be removed by Terry versus Ohio. Can my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and not incriminate myself, can that be removed by qualified immunity or by Terry versus Ohio? By Terry versus Ohio. And why is that? Because once you put me in torture cuffs with your right to detain me, then pretty soon I'm gonna tell you, I'm going to my girlfriend's house right over the hill, just take me out of these torture cuffs. Can my Sixth Amendment right to face my accuser, can that be taken away by qualified immunity or by Terry versus Ohio? So my Sixth Amendment right to face my accuser, now my accuser is the cop who swears he was suspicious of me. Can my Eighth Amendment right to be free of cruel and unusual punishment, you got me there. Eighth Amendment qualified immunity is par to Terry versus Ohio. They are on the same level. What about my Ninth Amendment right? My Ninth Amendment right for rights I don't even have yet. Can that be removed by qualified immunity or by Terry versus Ohio? By Terry versus Ohio. So, you know, my 14th Amendment, my right to equal protection under the law, can that be removed by qualified immunity? or by Terry versus Ohio, by Terry versus Ohio. You see, every single thing that your rights can be circumvented, stripped, negated, chilled, reversed, downgraded, all have to do with Terry versus Ohio. Your, the, the cop's right to detain you is based on Terry versus Ohio. You see? It's just, I, I think I'm just in a college town here. I'll give a real quick flash, but then come right back. Boop. Okay. 
there's just lots of pretty girls walking around. Lots of pretty girls. And I've been single for the whole year. I've been single for all of 2020. So, so now you guys understand the basis of you losing your rights is Terry versus Ohio. Now, after your rights have been removed, after your Fourth Amendment right to be secure in your person, now how vicious is Terry versus Ohio? How absolutely vicious is Terry versus Ohio? How, 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 how bad do you think it is? How bad do you think Terry versus Ohio is? And I'm gonna give two case precedences and I'm gonna show you how absolutely horrible Terry versus Ohio is. So there's two different, as you know, all laws, all, all illegal laws, all unconstitutional law is based on a case precedent. So, so when you talk about case precedent, what do you talk about? You say in the 1985 case, of Tennessee versus Garner. Eugene Garner in 1974. Eugene Gardner, like Eric Garner, but Eugene Garner. Eugene Garner was a, a 13 year old kid. He was shot in the back of the head. The bullet came out his face. His parents chased the case down for 11 years from 1974, the year I was born, until 1985. And then in 1985, the case went to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court said, the Supreme Court said, it is unconstitutional and the model penal code that had been written by black men who was on that Supreme Court in 1985, uh, I believe his name is Harry Blackman, he wrote the model penal code from 1952 to 1962. And in the model penal code, it's called the fleeing, felon in, the, the fleeing felon statute. And what it says is that you can shoot someone if they're running away from you. So, now he writes that 52 to 62, published in 62. And then in 85, Harry Blackman is now on the Supreme Court. And the case of Gardner comes before him where a cop shot him when he was running away. And so Harry Blackman, he reverses himself and says, you know what? It's unconstitutional to shoot someone in the back as they're running away. Cops can no longer shoot people in the back as they're running away unless, unless it's for officer safety. That's how vicious Terry is. So where does the term officer safety come from? Terry versus Ohio. That's where it comes from. So then in the 1995 case of Wilson versus Arkansas, everybody remembered that um, uh, Breonna Taylor was murdered in her own house. I believe it's going to be May 20th of 2020. Was it May 20th? It was May 20th. Or maybe it was April 13th. I get you, I get uh, Eric, Gar I get uh, George Floyd and, and Breonna Taylor confused. April 13th, May 20th. I can't remember. Sorry. So the 1995 case of Wilson versus Arkansas, they said in that case that you could not no-knock raid someone's apartment like what happened to Breonna Taylor. You can't do that. That's unconstitutional unless it's for officer safety. That's how Breonna was killed. And remember, how was George Floyd killed? On a Terry stop. George Floyd was killed on a Terry stop. Because the cops were suspicious that he passed a funny $20 bill, but that funny $20 bill never turned up. So they Terry stopped him, and then they detained him, and during the detainment, they snuffed out his life. Okay. my buffer here for a second. Do you got a bigger cut maybe? Oh, it's, it's pretty small. It's good. Nice glasses. Okay. So then which is which is which is more devastating to our humanity? 
is it qualified immunity or Terry versus Ohio? Which is it? Oh, am I still buffering? I'm probably still buffering. Are we back yet? There we are. You see? So listen, you know, you only learn these things if you st spend an exorbitant amount of time reading case precedent. So, you know, a lot of people will bash Wikipedia. I don't. I don't at all. As a matter of fact, every time I can and they say, hey, contribute, I contribute the three or ten dollars or whatever they ask, right? And the reason why I do that is because Wikipedia is amazing. People will say Wikipedia sucks. Obviously, you don't know how to use it because it doesn't suck. Wikipedia is amazing. I think Christy the best is in here, you guys. Christy Roan, uh, the, the widow of James Sheets, is in the room. So everybody say hello to Christy. God bless you, Christy. Appreciate you. Uh... Okay. So let me, let me finish my Wikipedia rant here so you guys understand. Um, if you guys go on Wikipedia and you look up uh, Wilson versus Arkansas, what that will do at the bottom of the page, it'll give you the case precedent history for your Fourth Amendment right to be secure in your home. So you don't have to go and look up a bunch of stuff. If you look up the 1985 holding of Tennessee versus Garner, then you look down at the bottom and it'll give you your Fourth Amendment right and how it's been circumvented. And you can trace back the case history of Tennessee versus Garner. The real shitty one is the 2010 case of, of uh, Citizens United versus the Federal Election Commission. And if you trace back the case history of that, now the, the case history of qualified immunity, I've traced it back on videos before. That goes back to Tenney versus Brandoff in 1951. T-E-N-N-E-Y, Tenney versus Brandoff, B-R-A-N-D-H-O-V-E. It doesn't matter if it's not 100% accurate, Chris. It gives you a starting point. And then if you have my poster, which you can buy on DeleteLaws.com, thank you so much for your support. Or if you have my ebook, thank you so much for getting my ebook on uh, DeleteLaws.com. If you go pick up my ebook or poster and then you look up each one of those cases on Wikipedia, then you can trace back the case history. You read the case and you see if it's incorrect on Wikipedia or not. Wikipedia is an amazing tool. The idea that, that, that it's not amazing is just people who don't use it to be truthful, to be truthful. Yeah. I didn't know that boring. I had no idea. I had no idea. Hang in there, Christy. Yeah. Christy sent me a video from a frauditor yesterday and I, I was like, what the fuck is this? I didn't say that. I, 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 I was like, I was just like. Because I clicked on it, and I don't like to give the frauditors any clicks. So, so Christy knows I'm sorry for for my text. I was upset. I because if I click on their video, then they get a view, and I don't want that. You know. Flip first. You're my hundredth subscriber. Did I, oh, did you guys subscribe to the channel yet? Did everybody subscribe? Did everybody hit the like button? Take your finger, reach down, hit the like button. Everybody take your finger, reach down, hit the like button. I'm still sweating. I'm still sweating. Still sweating. Let me get out of this little, um, little hate area here. Just want to make sure I'm not being followed. So last night, you guys, on a channel called Free Talk Live, Free Talk Live, Christy, they talked about James Sheets. They talked about James Sheets on Free Talk Live. That was last night. So, yeah, you guys hit the like button if you would, please. Everybody hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you would, please uh, hit the like button, everybody. That would mean a lot. I do appreciate it. I'm just trying to find my way home here because I'm in, I'm in a strange city. Oh, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Let's take a look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I got my, my trifold right here. 
trifold right there. Oh yeah. Mmm. You contact Ed, have him contact me. I can't, I can't, I can't reach out. Oh, man. Oh, it was? I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. There's there's the gold right there for me, folks. There it is. There it is. Cope Dog in the house. Oh, T-Roy? Oh, that's Troy. All gone. L laugh out loud, but you can be investigated. Um, at laughing ATU. Uh, hey, bro, I'm not sure if you've noticed or not. I, I'm getting investigated. They're all investigating me, bro. Have you not noticed? But you can be investigated. There's nothing I won't talk about out loud. Did you also know I pick my nose? I pick my nose too. Did you know that? I pick my nose. Sometimes in my sleep, I've even picked my bottom. There's nothing I won't talk about out loud. Do you know that women get a period every month? Did you know that? And that I would buy my girlfriend her tampons or whatever she got? Did you know that? There's nothing I won't talk about. That's disgusting, Phoenix. That's disgusting. <laughs> You know, listen, I'll go live when I got a cold sore on my chin from being stressed out over James Sheets' murder. And I'll put the camera right on my face. You want a close-up of it? I don't care, dude. I don't care. There's nothing I won't talk about. Nothing. I don't care what it is. If people from my past want to bring up things and talk about them out loud, I'll dissect them out loud. And believe me, the people of my past who have claimed things against me, they don't want to talk about what they did out loud believe me because anybody who ever did anything to me that would show up on a record they did things bad <laughs> they did things that were bad they did bad things and so wh when that relationship deteriorated i called them out for their bad things and if they wanted to talk about those things out loud now no nah, they'd look like a clown they'd look like a clown <laughs> Jeff, I hope you do keep supporting me. Uh, the way you can support me is you can go buy a trifold. Go get a trifold. Go buy an indestructible trifold. This is one I printed out, so it's not indestructible. I gave mine away. But uh, go get a trifold. I appreciate that. And make sure you use this and you invoke your Fifth Amendment right. You know? I don't either, Beverly. So Beverly just wrote, I don't care what you've done in your past or anyone else's past. I don't care either. I don't care what anybody did in their past as far as what I care about what people are doing now. What are you doing now? You know, the people in the peanut gallery who talk crap about me, right? What are you doing? Where's your videos? What are you doing with your life? What's your goal? You know, what, what, how, how are you making the world a better place? What, how, what's your contribution to the world other than just spreading hatred and, 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 and discontent. What's your goal? What's your goal? You know, the goal should be to overturn Terry versus Ohio and it should be a ubiquitous goal that we all care about. I'm gonna put my camera down just so I can kind of have a semblance of privacy of my location here just for a moment. I'll whip back here real quick. All black tinted windows, huh? There is quite a few black tinted windows cars here though, you know? And all I really care about is that I don't get my heart full of uh, anxiety or fear. That's all I care about. And I also hope that I don't ever have to, uh, you know, I, I hope that I never have to unload my gun. You know, I hope I never have to do that. Because if I have to unload my gun, then things went really truly wrong and I, I hope that I never have to do that 
to be honest. You know, that's, that's what I hope and I pray for a lot too, that, is that I don't have to actually use my gun. That's, that's what I hope because I, I really don't relish the idea of having to use the gun. It just, it's not something I, that I hope. You know, I, I hope that, that for, for peace and, and for liberty and for freedom. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate the support, man. Um, so that's what I care the most about. You know, and, and if we don't overturn Terry in my life, in Gen X, millennials, boomers, if we don't overturn Terry in, 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 in our lives, then we failed our, our youth. We, we failed the people who were younger than us. We failed them. If, if Terry versus Ohio is still on the books before I pass on and go hopefully to the, to the better place, then, then we failed. I failed. Failure is not an option. It's a cool looking building. It's just run down. Failure is not an option. We cannot fail in this mission. We have to overturn Terry versus Ohio. We have to overturn it. Terry versus Ohio has to go. Terry versus Ohio has to go. It absolutely has to go. The, it, I get, I, I start to stutter. I start to stutter. Let me just try to get it out. The idea of failing makes me so sick to my stomach I can feel my eyes water and I start to lose my words. Insomnia cookies. Mmm, I love insomnia cookies. If we fail in overturning Terry versus Ohio, then our country has gone to absolute dog shit. We have to overturn Terry versus Ohio. We have to. We have to. All your rights are gone because of Terry. Everything that, that, that America stands for, all the, the principles of liberty, the principles of freedom, the idea of justice is gone because of Terry versus Ohio. Everything that, that, that the founding fathers lived and died for is bastardized because of Terry versus Ohio. The idea of detainment does not exist. It is not real. It's fake because of Terry versus Ohio. There's nothing more important than overturning Terry versus Ohio. Number one, not even close. Not even Graham versus Connor, 1985, 1984. Graham versus Connor. Graham versus Connor is the use of force paradigm that the, the police get over us, saying that that the 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 reasonable officer on the scene, 1984, uh, 1984, 1985, hearing of Graham versus Connor said. Sorry about that. Um, so the, the 1984, I believe it's, I believe it's 1985. I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the 1984 holding, I, I, I believe, I believe it's, what year is that? God bless it. What year is that? What, what year was that? What, what year was Graham versus Connor? Was it 1984? Was, was that the 1984 holding of Graham versus Connor? Is that what that was? Is that what that was? Was it 84? I just got to be clear. I, I believe... So the, the, the incident happened in 1980, and then I believe that it happened in 1984 was the holding of, it's going to drive me crazy. I have OCD. I got it bad. Graham versus Connor. Nineteen eighty nine. God bless it. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean to misspeak there. Um, the The case happened in nineteen eighty four. If you guys want to see the reenactment of Graham versus Connor, go to the first video on my YouTube page. The very first video is the Terry era, starring Jeff Lloyd. Jeff Lloyd uh, is is a huge, huge civil rights supporter. White Republican, two time Trump voter can't stand the racist laws on the books. He can't stand them. And so, so the 1989 holding of Graham versus Connor, thanks guys, I appreciate it. That happened in 1984. The actual incident of Graham versus Connor happened in 1984. Now I reenacted the scene on the very first video on my page called the Terry era. It's the main video. 
So, you know, um, right. It, the, isn't that ironic that it happened in 84 and the, the same book is called 1984? Isn't that ironic? Isn't that ironic? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty unreal. It's, it's, it's pretty unreal. If you guys haven't seen all the lectures I've given on Terry versus Ohio, it would behoove you. It, it would, it would, I will not fail. I will not fail. They'll have to kill me because I'm going to overturn Terry and, and I can only do it with your help. We are going to overturn Terry versus Ohio and I'm not running as a Republican or Democrat. I'm running on a third party called the Transparency Civil Rights Party that I'm starting. And I'm going to start a federal national party called the Transparency Civil Rights Party. That's what it's going to be based on. Okay. So, um, yeah, it would send me to the bathroom too, but I, I uh, only eat once a day. And I go to the bathroom in the morning and then I don't have to go to the bathroom again. I do have to go pee sometimes, but, but no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're, we're going to pass the likes. You see that? We have 581 people and 542 likes. That means we need uh, 40 people to hit the like button and we'll go over how many people are watching the versus the like ratio. Just do that right there. T take your finger, hit the like button. Let's get over 571 likes. We're at 544 now. So everybody take your finger right there and reach over and hit the like button. Take your finger right there and reach over and hit the like button. If you would, we're at 549. Let's get to 570 on those likes. We're at 555. Beastmasters in the room, everybody. I got your number last night, Jay. I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call. 563. We just passed it. Congratulations. That's awesome. Okay. So, no, I don't want religious law. That's right. That's right. Beastmaster. So Beastmaster is quoting some things from the Bible. And when I read the Bible at 21, what he's quoting right there is what made me an atheist for 20 years. I didn't find God until 2019 when I did DMT and then I found God. So anyway, um, I have 400 likes on my side. <laughs> Sean Henson. Sean Henson. Good to see you, Sean. How you doing? Sean is, is, uh, is, is a guy that I know. And so, uh, you know, I'm just sparing you, Sean, all the trolls. Uh, Sean gave me a call a couple weeks ago with another mutual friend. And on the call, he said, uh, he said, Hey, uh, he said, I'm watching a video right now of you. Uh, but you're not on the video. There's four full grown men, two PhDs and two lawyers who are sitting around talking about you. <laughs> That's what Sean called me and said. I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, yes, yes. Keep doing it. Uh, I'm showing 572 likes over here. Maybe you're a little bit behind. Devil Dogs, good to see you, brother. Yeah, Devil Dogs, I've seen you in the room lots of times, brother. I've seen you in here lots. I've seen you in here lots. Well, you know what? I might look that way to you laughing ATU, but you know what you look like to me? Blocked. I didn't notice you come and I'm not going to notice you gone. <laughs> this will be the last time I ever think about you. Meanwhile, you'll walk around thinking about me. I take a rent in your head for free. Is that space in your head when you shower? Is that when you're thinking about me? So... Yeah, Sean says, uh, that's how you know you've made it, when there are channels just to try to knock you down. That's right. That's right. Um, uh, slim and sexy, I don't give away my schedule. I'm sorry, brother. Uh, when am I coming back to Ironton? I'm coming back. I just don't, I just don't announce my schedule. That's not, I don't announce my schedule. I don't, I don't give people my schedule. So, you know, I'm, I, I am coming back to Ironton. You know, the day and when, I'm afraid that I don't, uh, I don't divulge that information. Yeah, no devil dogs. They put you in timeout on the last video. And I said, hey, take him out of timeout. I know devil dogs. I've seen you in the room a few times. Aw, thanks, Christy. Thanks, Christy. Well, I mean, so these guys who are obsessed with me, I think some of them are actually, you know, you know what I'm saying? West Hollywood kinds. My kind of people. <laughs> they just don't know they're gay yet because they're just obsessed with me. I should give you guys an ass shot maybe for the guys who are obsessed. 
and then you could have something to visualize. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty old, man. My, I'm starting to get the bags under my eyes. You see that? See these bags under my eyes? I'm starting to get these under my eyes now. So the guys who are obsessed with me, I'm obsessed with you too. <laughs> I'm going to get the bags taken out one day. I don't know when. I know Zane just said no ass shot. Uh, uh, mobile messenger, the massage mobile that is a friend of mine named Zane. We've been friends for over 10 years. So, you know, but anyway, yeah, cool. So you guys make sure that you listen. And I'm not just saying this because I need people to buy my products, even though I do need people to buy my products because I am an entrepreneur. That's how I make a living. He's making money. I hope so. I hope I'm making money. I really hope I am. I'm trying to make money. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to make some dough, but I don't have any. I'm pretty broke. If you guys go and pick up a, one of my trifolds, now get the indestructible one so it doesn't look like this. Because the indestructible one, it doesn't it doesn't fold up like that. It doesn't look like that. This you get for free by putting free trifold in. But get the indestructible one if you can splurge for 25 bucks. Someone wrote me earlier and said, if they buy five, will I give them a deal? Sure, I will. Sure, you bet. You know, uh, I make about uh, 10 to $14 depending. And so, so I'm more than willing to give you a deal if you buy more than one. Uh, most people just buy them, but it's, you know, if that's what it takes for you to get them in your car, then I'll get them in your car. I appreciate it. And this, and this, what you use this is you use this so that you don't talk to cops. You know, you use this. So if they say they're going to search your car, you give them the reason why they can't search your car. And that's what you use this for, you know, so, um, I, you know, I'm pretty shadow banned. So, you know. Man, I really hope we get these guys for murdering James. I really do. You know, the reason I have the cold sore is because of James. Because I saw that he was murdered. I did not sleep for three nights. I did not. I could not sleep. I could not go to sleep. I couldn't sleep. It was the first time since I've been on this mission that I just could not go to sleep. I couldn't get rest. And it stressed me out so bad. It stressed me out so bad. You know, it, it just, it just did, you know, because knowing that James was murdered and by the way, you know, just so you guys know, not just Christy who's here, but lots of his friends have contacted me. It's going to make me cry. Okay. Lots of James friends have contacted me and said that James had his problems, but he was a good dude. Lots of James friends have contacted me and said that he was a good human being. He, he, he had problems. He did drugs. He had, a, he had a drug problem that Christy helped him through three different rehabs, three different times he got clean. And we, we, we matched up his criminal record with when he was doing drugs and it matched spot on. And then we matched up no criminal record to when he was clean and sober, no criminal record during that time period. So it's pretty obvious. You guys ingest meth or crack or, or heroin, you're going to become a criminal for those drugs because you want them so badly. So that's what we locked up with, um, um, that we locked up, uh, determining that James was actually a good dude and he robbed and stole when he was on drugs. So James sheets the, uh, yeah, not all drugs are bad. You know, I liked DMT. I liked, uh, MDMA. I enjoyed those drugs. I wasn't ever addicted to anything though. I didn't like cocaine so much. I did it a few times in my life. I didn't like it that much. I still don't, I still, you know what I mean? It's just not that great. Um, but, uh, you know, um, no, that's not true. Uh, Appalachian privilege. That's not true. Uh, George Floyd died cause someone put a knee in his neck for, uh, you know, what it was 14 and a half minutes or however long it was. Uh, Appalachian privileged. The reason why George Floyd died is because he was Terry stopped for a, for allegedly passing a funny $20 bill. And then they snuffed his life away from him. Yeah. Weed is my favorite uh, drug. If you can even call it a drug, um, you know, and so that's just the way it is, you know, um, was it nine minutes? Is that how long they put their knees in his neck? And that's a Terry stop, by the way. 
Eight minutes. Eight minutes and 44 seconds, wasn't it? Dave Chappelle's show just grounded into my head. You know, that's that's the way it was, you know. Mary Jane's not a drug to me. Anybody in Columbus, anybody in Columbus, does anybody have a connection in Columbus? I'd like to, I'd like to, to smoke one here in Columbus. I haven't smoked weed in a few days, maybe a week or so. So I, anybody, uh, uh, you know, uh, Zane, if, if, uh, if you're coming through Columbus, man, let's, uh, let's smoke one, dude. I'm ready to smoke one because I'm going to train like a beast right now. No, no, don't, don't, don't pass off. Don't pass off George Floyd's murder for drugs. Don't do it. Don't do it. He was held down in torture cuffs and they stuck a knee in his neck. Call it what it is. Because if there was no torture cuffs and no knees in his neck, George Floyd isn't dead. So don't, don't pass it off. Don't pass it off. Make sure you put the blame where it belongs on that pig, Derek Chavanaugh. Okay. So just, just call it for what it is. It was murder. Just call it, you know, just be honest. As you know, I'm a truth monger. Just, just be honest. They murdered him in the streets in front of everybody. Let me just tell you something. You filthy pigs. If I see that you, I'm going to have to go to the dungeon because I'm not going to watch you put your knees in someone's neck. You got about 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, before you're going to get my shoulder in your chin. You are not going to put someone's knee on your neck in front of me. It won't happen. I'll put my gun down and I will charge your ass. You do not put your knees in someone's neck. Oh, if it doesn't piss you off, you don't care. So I do care, unfortunately. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you, 64. Good to see you. I'm 47. So, yeah, I mean, it was just sick, dude. It was just sick. And that, and those cops, those bunch of beta males, cops murder, cops murder. That's for sure. Cops murder. That's just the way it is. You know, torture cuffs are horrific. You know, torture cuffs are horrific. So anyway, all right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. And the reason why is because I want to get a hardcore workout in right now. And then I got to make a video tonight. Tonight, I'll be showing you guys a video of uh, you guys. I'll put it in community right now. I'm going to go over that video later tonight. And then you guys, if you can, I want you guys to find any videos from the Delaware lacrosse team that was pulled over and Terry stopped. And they pulled all those college girls out of the bus and patted them down. It sounds a lot like the Ironton High School, how they're patting down girls in the bathroom. So the Delaware, the Delaware bus stop a month ago or two months ago, the lacrosse team, the Delaware lacrosse team. See if you guys can find any of those videos of the girls who were patted down. Any videos, maybe the lacrosse members made videos of the cops pulling over their tour bus pulling those young girls 18 to 22 out of the out of the tour bus and then patting them down terry stopping them to check for drugs or weapons meanwhile those girls are all athletes and they're 18 to 22 and they got to bend over and i get to pat them down disgusting if if you're going to if you're going to bend a girl over and pat her down you shouldn't use the law to do it you should just be honest about what your intentions are you know, so anyway, all right. If you guys find any of those videos, let me know. And uh, thanks for the super chats. I didn't get a chance to call those guys out, but thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Um, anybody in Columbus, let me know, Lou. Email me at delete laws at Gmail. Lou Skunt, uh, send me an email at delete laws at Gmail. If you would, pretty please, I'd appreciate that. And I'm going to go get one hell of a workout in right now. And then I'll be back on tonight because I can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, appreciate you guys. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And don't ever forget, man, we don't stop until we overturn Terry. We don't stop until we change the system. This system won't work. It won't ever work. Thanks for coming along with me. You guys empowered me to be the tip of the spear. And you guys are the weight of that spear that pierces the beast to change this tyrannical prison state, death state, tyrannical. This isn't, this isn't rule of law. This isn't rule of law. Okay, I'll get the flock out of here. Uh, oh, is Brian from High Impact Flicks in here? I'll stay for five more seconds just to say hi to Brian. I'll stay for five more seconds. Uh, Brian, are you still in the room? Oh, I'm so sorry. The video I'm covering tonight is going to be from Telequa. 
Did you know that? Did you know that? The video I'm covering tonight, uh, Brian from High Impact, the video that I'm doing tonight is for uh, Deborah. Deborah. Deborah from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Deborah from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. That's the video I'm doing tonight. I'm also going to cover um, the Delaware bus stop. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see everybody. Uh, make sure you subscribe to High Impact Flicks. Uh, I watched Brian. I'm so honored to be his friend because I watched Brian all through the pandemic. I watched Brian's videos every day through the pandemic. Good Lord. God bless you, baby. God bless you. So, 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 uh, Brian from High Impact Flicks, make sure you guys are subscribed to his channel. He has another channel um, called Here's the Deal, where he, he has helped me grow this channel by covering the videos that we do. And I'm nothing but grateful to you, Brian. Um, and Brian, just so you know, the video I'm covering tonight comes out of your your place from Tele around the area of Telequa, Oklahoma. Dude, I appreciate you so much, Brian, for covering my videos and helping me grow this channel. I'm so grateful, dude. And and Brian and I disagree on different issues, but you'll you'll never really hear us have an open disagreement. I just, uh, but I support this man 100%, and he supports me back. And I'm I'm so grateful, Brian, for your channel and the, being the thought leader that you are. And Brian and I totally agree. Republican, Democrat, same thing. Republican, Democrat, same thing. You're a dyed in the wool Republican. You're a dyed in the wool uh, Democrat. You're lost. You're lost. They're the same two wings of the same bird. The Democrat and Republican Party is the same wings of the same bird. Hey, Brian, did you know that, um, did you know that uh, uh, Lackluster has agreed to debate me this next week? Lackluster came in here and said something, and I said, then let's have a debate about it, and he agreed to have a debate. So I'm looking forward to having a debate with Lackluster next week. And Brian and Lackluster are also friends. Uh, you know, all the big channels like uh, Lackluster, James Freeman, uh, ASD Docs, all these guys know each other. They're all acquainted and, uh, and some of them are friends and actually talk on the phone. So uh, Grease Monkey videos. Do you have three channels, Brian? Do you have another channel called Grease Monkey? Oh, of course, man. Of course. No, I'm, I'm always respectful to, uh, to uh, Dale. I have a lot of respect for him. I love Lackluster. We just have a dis we have a dis He's going to debate me on volunteerism and on anarchism. I got nothing but respect for Dale. I mean, and, and, uh, I've been totally transparent with my relationships with everybody because if I, yo, so he has, what's the third channel called Brian? Is it called grease monkey? Do you want to put the link up there so people can sub subscribe? Is that right? Well, you know what? Uh, that's cool. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll watch it. I will watch it. He's more than welcome to do that. Do it. I, I know what I did. I know my history. I know, I know the, the, the time I spent. I said it last night. I'm not going to go into it again, but I said it last night. I went into great detail last night. So I was pretty clear on my, on my uh, talk last night about my history with that, with that club. Yeah, I love lackluster too. We just have a disagreement about social structure, about rule of law. There's a, a channel, uh, Brian's third channel called Grease Monkey. You guys make sure you subscribe to his third channel. And then I put my second channel in this chat uh, for uh, uh, Ninja and Chili, for Ninja and Chili. So yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'll be on in a couple hours. I'm going to get a hardcore workout in. Uh, Brian, I can't wait. I hope you uh, join that debate with Lackluster and I. We're going to put it on accountability for all. And uh, nothing but respect for the guy, nothing but respect for anybody here. I just want to have a debate about the social contract. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. I want to have a debate about the social contract. Looking forward to seeing um, uh, uh, Lackluster come into town next week. I will check my Instagram. And Brian, the video I'm doing tonight is going to cover a woman in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, who really does need some help. This woman needs some help. Yeah. Yeah, Brian, uh, Brian in his comments, he definitely sides with uh, volunteerism and with anarchism, and we just disagree on that. So I'm more than willing to, uh, to uh, have that debate. Uh, with anybody who wants to have it. So anyway, listen, I'm going to get out of here. I've been on here for two hours. Brian, if you watched this video earlier, they were following me and stalking me, dude. It was crazy. It was crazy. Brian, watch the video. Watch the video when the guy follows me out of the building. I think the timestamp's going to be around 20 minutes, 22 minutes, 25 minutes, somewhere in there. They followed me at the, at the building today. That's what they did. They followed me. Lively report. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you, Lively. Okay, Brian. Well, you're going to hear that debate. You're going to hear that debate. 
And Devil Dogs, I want to see a few more times and we'll, we'll continue down the road. We'll continue down the road. All right, guys, I love you. I'm going to get the flock out of here. God bless you. God bless America. Remember one thing. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Thanks, mods. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.